The Arizona Attorney General is being asked to get involved in a water rate dispute between the city of Tucson and Pima County. The issue is how to reimburse tens of thousands of Pima County homeowners who were overcharged by Tucson Water for 18 months. 13 News reporter Bud Foster has more on how this long running dispute is playing out. This is an ongoing battle between the city and the county for three years now, and the ratepayers, the homeowners, are caught in the middle. Now, the courts say that the city of Tucson has been overcharging these county customers for a year and a half now. There's no dispute about that, but where the disagreement comes in is how to reimburse those customers. There has been no reimbursements or attempt to repay individuals who may have paid the differential rate at a higher rate when they should not have. Just how much that would be per customer has not yet been determined, but the city estimated it could make an extra $11 million a year from the higher rates on county customers. The county administrator sent this memo to the county board members updating them on the progress made trying to resolve the issue. What she told the board is she's now asking the state attorney general to get involved to try to resolve this year's long stalemate. Is it a consumer issue? Can we get people who believe that they have a case to work through the attorney general's office and or can the attorney general's consumer protection and consumer affairs office step in on behalf of these individuals. The overcharges started in 2021 when the city decided it was legally okay to charge tens of thousands of county water customers more because it costs more to pump water to them than it does to city customers. Although at the time it had no statistics or studies to back that up. What the courts have now found after looking at this case, they said, hey, city of Tucson, you didn't do this the right way. You didn't do it in the correct order. We don't like the way this works. So this this is not valid. It could be valid, however, because differential water rates are common in Arizona. And if the city had followed proper procedures, it would likely have been OK. But without following those procedures, what the city did was not legal, according to the courts. And the customers were overcharged. The city to stop collecting those higher rates, but getting reimbursement for the customers who overcharge has been futile to this point. If people outside of the city of Tucson paid a rate that they should not have been paid and that rate was declared null and void, then all of those individuals need to be compensated in one way or another. Still, the city has reimbursed the county for its overcharges, but at this point has not reimbursed each individual customer. Now, we asked the city about that today, and the city said there is a court hearing on September 24th, so we should have a better idea how this is all going to shake out then. Downtown, I'm Bud Foster, 13 News.